On the last episode, I showed you how to enable unofficial repository support using the Open Package Manager on Edison. This time, I want to show you how to connect to and pull data from an I2C temperature sensor. We're going to do this in Python, which means you could install the Python SM bus package, and you could do that through the same methods we showed you in the Getting Started with Raspberry Pi series, but I want to show you how to do it with the MRAA package, which is Intel's officially supported package that allows you to control GPIO, SPI, I2C, and some other protocols. MRAA was intended for the Intel Edison and Intel Galileo, but they do have some support for things like the BeagleBone Black and Raspberry Pi. Here's a fun fact. MRAA doesn't stand for anything, although I did read that the M possibly stands for monkeys. To get started, you'll need the Edison and a base block. You could also use something like a console block or really anything to give you a serial terminal into the Edison. We'll also be using the Pi block, and I've already gone ahead and soldered some headers to it. The Pi block breaks out some GPIO pins, UART, SPI, I2C, and presents it in the same pinout format as a Raspberry Pi Model B. I also like to use it as just a regular breakout board for the Edison because it level shifts everything to 3.3 volts. We'll also need an HIH6130 temperature and humidity sensor, which I've gone ahead and soldered some pins to it. We'll need four male-to-female jumper wires, a USB micro cable, and a breadboard. First, connect the Edison, which is attached to the base block or the console block, to the Pi block. You can secure it in place using some of the M2 screws found in the Edison hardware pack. Then, make sure that the temperature sensor is attached to the breadboard, and we'll want to connect some wires. First, connect 3.3 volts on the Pi block to VCC on the temperature sensor, then ground to ground, SDA to aptly named SDA, and finally SCL to SCL. Then plug in a micro USB cable to the console port of the base block and connect that to your computer. Open a serial terminal and log in to root. Make sure that you have enabled the unofficial repositories from last episode. You can click on this link to see that video. Then install the I2C tools, which we can do through OPKG. Run I2C detect dash Y, which disables interactive mode, dash R, which forces us to use a read byte in order to probe the bus, and 1, which tells us to use I squared C bus 1. You should see an address map print out on the screen and hex 27 appear in that if everything was connected properly. Then we need to create our script. Use nano or vi, whatever your editor of choice is, and create a script named read underscore temp dot py. We're going to make a Python script, and you can type along with what's going on on the screen, or feel free to copy and paste code from the link below. To start, we need to import some Python packages. We're going to use MRAA and time. Then we need to set up the I2C bus. We'll do this by calling MRAA.I2C, or I2C in this case, and notifying that it's bus number one. Then we'll take that and set the address of the temperature sensor to hex 27. Next, we want to create a super loop, just a loop that's going to run forever and pull the sensor for us. In the beginning of that loop, we'll read from the sensor. To do this, we can just write anything on the bus to that address. In this case, we're just going to write a zero. Then, at least according to the data sheet, we need to read back four bytes. Once we have that answer, we can convert that temperature to Celsius. To do this, we're going to take bytes three and four and combine them. As it turns out, bytes one and two are humidity data, which we're just neglecting at this point. Then we need to take those two bytes, shift it over by two bits, and then perform some magic math on that to get us a floating point value that is the temperature in Celsius. Then to display it nicely, we're going to truncate everything after one decimal point. Finally, we print that to the screen with a C to let you know it's Celsius, and sleep for one second before repeating that process. Once you're done, hit Control X and Y if you're in Nano to save an exit. Type python readtemp.py to begin the script. You should see some numbers printing to the screen that shows the temperature in Celsius coming from the temperature sensor. And if you want to play with it, you can breathe on the sensor to watch the temperature rise, then fall again. Once you're done, press Control C to stop the script. As you can see, it's fairly straightforward to connect hardware devices to the Edison, and we can use the package manager to download and install packages from the internet, which makes that job even easier for us. See if you can take this project one step further. Can you, for example, read the humidity data and print that to the screen from the HIH6130? Or send that data out over Twitter like we did in the Getting Started with Raspberry Pi videos? Or maybe even try rewriting it in a new language like JavaScript or C++ if you fancy any of those. 
LibMRAA proves to be quite useful and we plan to use it in some future episodes. Thanks for watching.